T. Gray and MK, you are now cleared for flight school takeoff. Four, four three, two, one, zero. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? How you doing? <laughs> Very good. Hey. Doing good fantastic, morning. man. I think we have almost all of our brands represented today. <laughs> you got, you're like multi-branded over there. Yeah. 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 What's happening? Everything is happening. You know that. Yes. Everything. Yeah. Everything. All right. Good Love stuff. it. Good morning, man. Mm. Welcome to flight school, everybody. How you doing? Yeah. Who do we have on with us? Hey, people are sending out stars, bro. We got stars and everything mm -hmm. happening over here. Yeah, Tim Lambert, 200 stars, and says, hashtag, feed the babies. Feed the babies. Way yep. to go, Tim. Yep, awesome. another 200. Let's see who, so who do we have on? We got people on from everywhere, right out of the gates. All right, we got Fire Your Boss, Flight School Veteran, Michelle Derling from Sarasota, Florida, and Missy from Columbia, South Carolina. What's okay. up? Good stuff. All right. Who do we have? Uh, Sean Winston, 490 stars. How did he come up with that number? I know, right? What a number, 490. <laughs> uh, we, but hey, we want them all. We want hey, all Robert stars. Leatherberry just sent 500 stars. There we go. Kathy Mixick, Onyashoko sent 400 stars. <laughs> That's we got Ed, Ed Peterson Jr. What's up, bro? How are you doing, man? Yeah. Hey, Marissa Michael James sent 500. Um, who else do we have? We got Kevin Clayton from Shy Town. Now, Kevin and Tammy were your guests on Flight School, weren't they? they on top were. of the spotlight. And, and it was awesome, dude. They gave some really, really, really good tips. Oh, man. Fantastic. Man. Fantastic. Right. Danny awesome. Litalian, 100 stars. And she says French translation. Shirley yeah. Xavier. I saw Shirley Xavier from the ATL on here. Nancy Spencer. Janice Griggs sent 500 stars. Tim Lambert. Wow, another thousand stars. Whoa, nice. All good right. morning to the coolest host ever. Virginia Williams says, good morning to the coolest host ever. T. Gray and Mark K. sent All 50 right. stars. Thank you so much. Yeah. William Black from Las Vegas is in the house. Mario Margari, hi from London. What's happening, Mario? Latrice Legendaire, a thousand stars. Way to go. Those stars are coming in hot and early. That's what I'm talking about, everybody. Kimaya Vassar, a hundred stars. Kimaya, what's happening? Edson Richards, a hundred stars. Uh-oh, hold on, hold on. Hold we on. have what? Mariela Ramos Cruz from Puerto Rico. All right. All right, Did all right, we do that? Right. Hold on, hold on. We'll watch it. <clears throat> It'll come up on Facebook. Did we do it? Is it? Is it? Let's see. Yep, hold we on. did it. All right, cool. I missed it. <laughs> Leonard Bailey, good morning, flight school, boom. And he sent 500 stars. Beverly Smith, 500 stars. Nice. What's up, Carla Wynn? Wish you a grand rising. <clears throat> Leona, Leona Deanna Artis. Honoring Mr. T. Gray and Mr. MK sent 200 stars. Lynn Williams Robin Fox, is a thousand stars. From, from Miami. That's what I'm talking about. Who else is on uh, here? Michelle Jacobs. What's happening, Michelle? How are you? Yeah, 100 wow. stars she sent. Oh, Diana cool. Hardy, 200 stars. Up and out the stars. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. All right. There's the big D Donaldson from Brentwood, New York. 100 stars. Lutricia Black, Bailey, 200 Texas. stars. Another 200 from Lutricia Black from Brooklyn, New York. All right. What's up, Desiree? We see you. Desiree is here, present, and accounted for. Ooh, what? <laughs> Who else do we have? Yeah. Eric Fritz, 50 stars. Edgar Lohman, 100 stars. What's up? Chad Bart says, Bartlett, my son stars. is excited. His name is Tigre, said the same way. <laughs> That's right. What's up, Tigre? Shannon Gibbs, 200 stars. Okay, who else Lord, do we have? Remote from Jacksonville, North Kakalaka. All right. All right. We got people sending stars. O.C. Williams, 100 stars. Renee Young, 50 stars. Wally Yaris Loffenberg, 50 stars. Robin Botts just Bailey. sent 1,000 stars. Who? Robin Botts. Oh, yeah. I already got her. You're, you did? Yeah. Yeah, but you, we can call her name again. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure she doesn't mind. <laughs> she What's does up, not Robin? mind. Nola Bailey, 50 stars. Juliet Green, 100 stars. Stars are the stars are happening right yeah. out of the gates. That's Renee right. Young, 500 stars for Renee, Renee. Renee Young. What? To pop out with the stars right out of the hold right on, out hold of on. gates. Who do we have here? Who is this? Who is this? It's Fred and Charlene. I can't read their last name. They sent 100 stars. All right. Thank you for the 100 stars, Fred and Charlene. Oh, Monica. Monica from Budapest sent 200 stars. What's up, Yay. Monica from Budapest? <laughs> Kimberly Lipscomb, 100 stars. All right. Aaron Johnson, 800 stars. Nice. Thank you, Karen. Yeah. Awesome. We've got Thank Jeremy Romani from Trinidad and Tobago on. Donna wants to know what are stars? How do you send them? You can send stars if you're watching via Facebook Live. Yeah. So that's how you send stars. You, uh, <laughs> or, or the part stars part. at night yeah. are big and bright, deep in the heart of Texas. <laughs> I think that's a quote from a movie or a song. That, Is that I think song? that's the Texas, uh, that's one of the Texas songs. Yeah. Deep in the heart of Texas. And you gotta, no, no. I like that. No, don't do that. No. No. Okay. I won't do it. <laughs> I feel like I already did do it though. <laughs> you, did, it. you did do it, but stop doing it. <laughs> we got Topsy uh, from Birmingham, UK. Rochelle sent 500 stars. I did almost 200. Larita Phelps is throwing shade in the Zoom chat. She said, let the butchering of names begin. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, Edgar Lohman, 200 stars. Carolyn Walker Wallen, 500 stars. Tammy Clayton, 1,000 stars. Jeez, the stars are coming out. Nancy Malicia. Spencer, 200 stars. Melicia Ooh. from St. Lucia is here in the house. What's up, Melicia? Yeah. Yes. All right. All right. Bro, I think everybody. ready to rock? Yeah, let's do this thing. Let's, let's do this. Let's, rock let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. All right. Let's okay. Go. okay. So good morning, everybody. Welcome to Flight School from all over the world. We know we've got people, and I should say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, get different time zones represented. And today's Flight School is going to be super special and fun. Uh, we have a very special training lined up for you because we know that everybody is in full swing. What is everybody focused on right now? Everybody is focused on new, new team members, recruiting new team members, right? New I Boomerang family members and new customers. So there are a lot of Zoom presentations going on. There are a lot of Zoom trainings going on. There are a lot of Zoom uh, team get togethers happening. And guess what? Today, we have a special training that's going to show you how to perfect your Zooms, how to master your Zooms so that you can take them up a level uh, in terms of the quality of your presentation and the impression that you make. So let's get down to business. Can I sing the song? No. No. Yeah. That's and the other thing, too, that is not in the deck, which is this my fault is the disclaimer. Right, somebody Dude. somebody in the chat, they flagged it. They're like, hey, wait a minute, where's Dude. the disclaimer? Dude. Okay. You so the disclaimer me. is right here. Yes, the disclaimer on the is heart right today. here. So here we go. I Boomerang does not, cannot make income guarantees, all right? Even though we will teach you, train you, and we have a great comp plan where you can make money, everybody's not going to make money. Why? Because everybody's going to do something different. Some are going to do a lot and make a lot. Some are going to do a little eh, and make a little. Some are going to do nothing at all and make nothing at all, right? And who gets to determine which one that is for you? Say with me, champions, the man or woman looking back at you in the mirror when you brush your teeth in the morning. That is the only person who can determine how much money you're going to make at iBoomerang. So, uh, we don't make income claims or income guarantees, um, even though we do have people making money. So that said. Okay, hold on. I can flash it real quick here. You're flashing? Just, just to be compliant. Oh, look at you. There it is. Boom. The disclaimer is there. Oh, no, it's not there. <laughs> no, I'm seeing it. There it is. Okay, yeah. yeah. There it is. Yeah. All right, cool. There you go. Okay. Now we did okay. it. All right. Okay. We've just, we, well, let's <laughs> have, we've yeah, just we, been sclaimed and it yeah. feels so good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. David is ready for flight school. Okay. 
All right. Here All we right. Go. Cool. Let's hey, party. Podcast, podcast. Hey, yeah. do you listen to podcasts, T. Gray? I do listen to podcasts. Yeah. And then you I know what? Sometimes you listen to a great podcast and you send me the link, you share it. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, you mm -hmm. did. I, I, I have been doing that. So bottom line is, is podcasts are great and you can listen to them anywhere, uh, literally anywhere. So bottom line is, is uh, we've got a podcast and it's on Apple. It's on Google Play. It's on Spotify. And you can find that podcast on any of those different platforms. So choose the platform you like and listen to our podcast, Flight School it's Podcast. Everywhere. So, so the other thing too is, is uh, you know, I drive to work. No, I drive to the office because it's not work for me. <laughs> <laughs> I drive to the office, and uh, I listen to podcasts the whole way there and the whole way back home. So it's it's awesome. I love it. I love listening to podcasts. The other thing too is, is you know, sometimes I listen to music, but. Most of the time, it's podcast, 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 because I'm always wanting to fill my brain with information. And why listen to music when I can sing? No. No? No. All right. <laughs> Monica from Budapest says she listens to podcasts and reads and listens to books, too. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Audio books. That's also good. Perfect. Yeah. All right. What do we got here? You guys have been doing a great job curating our videos on YouTube, yes. man. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, man. So we have over 600 videos on our YouTube channel. No way. 600. Yes. Over 600 videos. Wow. So if you can't find what you're looking for <laughs> out of those 600 videos, then you're lost. <laughs> ain't looking. So, so yeah, yeah, keep looking. Um, so we've broken them out too. So one thing that we've done is we created playlists, playlists, mm -hmm. and those playlists are broken out into flight school, comp plan, uh, social media training, and a lot of other different uh, playlists. So go ahead, get over to youtube.com forward slash i boomerang we should have that on this slide by the way forward yeah. to youtube.com forward slash i boomerang and you can get all of the goodness that we provide you the Good yummy stuff. goodness of those videos <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and you know what i think what else is cool is that the uh the team uh, the marketing team is also being very intentional now about how we name the videos, how we label the videos, which makes them more searchable uh, yeah. and easier to find. Yeah. So now the ladies, Diamond Ambassadors, mm -hmm. this is Jackie Pippins and Jayla Pippins, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. rounded out the Comp Plan series. They did. They complete. And they did it at Accelerate. They did. They, they did it on the big stage. Stamp on it. Yeah, they did. So all of the videos are there. All seven of the Comp Plan series is now complete and available on the YouTube. Nicely done. All right. All right. Okay. iBoom Hub has social media resources. I think I'm supposed to do this one. Yeah. yeah. I think that's kind of what that pause was all about there. Right. No, but what's cool, <laughs> this is, and I probably should, because it's something that I was pushing for, right? Which is yep. this, this gallery of social media resources that you can use so that you can make posts that look really good because our marketing team and our marketing agency made them and they are compliant. Right. So yeah, you can't, you can't get better than that. I mean, it's really hard to do the stuff that our team creates at home. And so we've made it all available for you. You go to iBoom Hub, you go to social media resources, and, and you'll be able to choose things that you can post and look great all over your, your social media uh, pages. So cool, cool. Go to iBoom Hub and use those. All right. Good stuff. Hey, a new post on business for home. So yes accelerate action and dude i'm i'm representing today you are i'm representing today 
just for this slide. <laughs> you go. Yeah. Whole t-shirt for one slide. Yep, t-shirt for one slide. <laughs> yeah. So it, it it was awesome. And it was. It was incredible. And and you know, we're, the replay is up. The replay mm -hmm. is up, and you guys need to be watching that replay. And it gives you everything you need to build your business in 2022. It does. So just get over there, watch it. Now, on Business for Home, we're also going to be picking some more superstar promo winners as well. Mm -hmm. So look for those. That's right. And we're going to get more active on Business for Home. We so are. we've got more to do on Business for Home. And, you know, you guys are going to benefit from that. Yeah. Cool. I want to backtrack a little bit. You know, we were talking about the uh, social media resources. Mm -hmm. Mario Margari says, oh, and, and, and the videos on, on uh, YouTube. He says, uh, as Daniel Camaro would say, it looks sexy and rich. The videos. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mario. Thank you, Mario. All right. <laughs> All right. Idea Hub. So what is Idea Hub? Idea Hub is a place where you can send us your ideas, right? So you go to iBloomHub.com, you find the Idea Hub, tell us a little bit of information about yourself and, and then outline your idea, what it is, you know, so, so you guys have some great ideas and we've used and implemented lots of them. And some of them we haven't used, but it makes us think of something else. So definitely this is the place for your ideas. I know yeah. some of you guys like to send them straight to Mark. Don't do so. <laughs> <laughs> send them here. This way we can keep track of them all. Yeah. So, yeah, it's up. I was just checking because we said it's up there. But, uh, yeah, it's on there. It's right before support. It's over to the far right. Okay. Nice. There you go. Cool. Good stuff. <laughs> We're saying it, so it should be there. <laughs> all righty. Fine time to check, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is awesome. So yes. Bill Genius, it was 1.7. Mm -hmm. Now it's 1.8, another hundred grand in savings yep. for ambassadors and customers. Mm -hmm. This is cool. And you know what? The other thing too is, is they've got this thing called autopilot. You don't have to touch anything. You don't have to tell them, renegotiate my bill. Mm -hmm. They do it automatically. You said automatically. I did. That's right. <laughs> yeah, Dan like Hansen says, Bill Genius rocks. It does, Dan. Yes. It's so cool. Yes, this is so awesome. All right. So we launched the Accelerate virtual oh, hey, trade. Hold on, hold on. Wait. What happened, what happened? What happened? Nina Marie says, I'm starting to see my residuals. Nina Marie. Oh, your residuals right, Nina. from your customers. That's right. Nice. That's right. People are getting go. paid. Hey, Marie, she's, she's doing high customers. five. Nice. Yes. High five, Nina Marie. <laughs> you go. You know what? I didn't know what that meant. What? This, 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 this emoji. You didn't know what it meant. I didn't know what it meant. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I, I didn't know it meant high five. I it's, thought it was clapping. No, clapping is something like yeah. this. No, it's, it's that's this emoji. Yeah, that's the clap, right? Yeah, and then this is the high yeah, five. Yeah, I was like, no, I, I I don't know what that is. Okay. So last night, <laughs> <laughs> David Romero says this is a day of revelation. <laughs> <laughs> it is. So last night, <laughs> yeah. Michelle Durling too. Me neither. Thanks, Mark. So, so listen, Donna says she thought it was praising. Yeah. Oh yeah. man. Yeah, B all Carter. I said right. Now. So B that Carter is a high five. Wasn't sure either. That's that's high five. Yeah. So the one thing that I, you know, I saw your emoji last night on Telegram, and it went like this, and I right. was like, oh. Because Telegram animates them. Yeah, Chrissy DeLister says, me too. I thought it was giving praise too. That oh, is a man. double high five. That's what it is. Oh. All right, mystery is solved. Wow. 
I'm concerned about all of you who did not know what that was. Yes, very concerned. <laughs> Especially about Chrissy, Chrissy Delisser. She didn't know what it was. <laughs> I love you, Chrissy, just teasing. All right, the Accelerate Virtual Trade Assistant. And um, you know what? I've been spending a lot of time now with our educator team and they have been blowing out trade ideas. Oh, they've been wow. pumping them out. What? So there are, I don't know if you guys, you guys who have the app, there are, uh, I don't know if you've noticed, there are a lot more trade ideas uh, this week. And so we're going to, we're really committed to making sure. Uh, Tim says the trade ideas have been awesome. I know people have had some winners with these trade ideas. So the app, definitely can, disclaimer, pay for itself. Uh, for those of you who are actually using the trade ideas, uh, all you need is a few wins to, to pay the, the additional for your trade idea, uh, trade uh, accelerate subscription. Monica, Monica from Budapest says, making me some money. Making me some money. <laughs> disclaimer, <Yeah>. disclaimer. <laughs> Andy Varela says, very true. The trading app is great with fire emojis. Now, did you guys know what the fire emoji meant? Yes. Have I do know about fire emoji. Fire emoji. We don't need to explain the fire emoji. Everybody's, everybody's clear on that one? Yes. B, Chrissy, all you Mark supporters, you guys know the fire one? Okay. Okay, cool. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Bro. Uh, Jelani, what is fire? Okay. That's another, <laughs> that's a different edition of flight school. <laughs> oh, okay. All righty. All right, let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> this is getting silly. All right, let's go. We you're, need to button it up. You're controlling here, the slides. What? You're Me. saying let's go, but you're controlling the slides. Oh, you didn't talk about Accelerate. I did. You did, I but you didn't about tell how them about the pricing. Trading. They said they were getting, they were making money. Yeah. They were, the trades are working. So go ahead and subscribe yeah. and get your customers to subscribe. Yeah. Okay. There we go. All right. <laughs> Monica said I started it. <laughs> All right. All right. Hey. <laughs> Boy, this is, this has been something else this morning. Yeah. We're all over the place. <laughs> Chad says we need a still in the nest school. <laughs> Not a flight school, still in the nest school. Get it? Yeah, right. Yeah, understood. Yeah. All, right. All right. So we had the team, the social media team, record a video. And you know what? It's, it's awesome, bro. It's amazing. <laughs> it is. So, so let's, let's uh, set this up. So Zoom presentations, everybody's doing them. You guys, we want you to understand how to get the most the most out of your Zoom presentations. Right. And you know what? We were talking about it the other day. So I'm going to stop sharing right now. We were talking about it the other day and we were going through all the different things and all the different ways to make That's your Zoom doing. really, really good. <laughs> and we said we have violated every one. We have, bro. We absolutely have. And every one of the ideas that, that we had. Yeah. Well, let's 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 actually have a little fun before we roll the training. Let's right. ask the group here. So, what do you what would you guys say are some of the the biggest mistakes that people make when doing Zoom presentations or doing Zooms? What would you guys say? Too much talking. Too much talking. <laughs> you know, Mario, it's kind of hard to. <laughs> Making it too long. I know you meant too long. Yeah. Background distractions, not yeah. muting. Too much text on your slides. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Face too close to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Angle not good. Looking up their nose. Reading the slides word for word. Yeah. Not, not looking at the camera. Oh, hmm. that's a good one. Oh, drinking. Guilty. As charged. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, not like dressed me. properly in pajamas. If you only knew. No. Nope. Don't stand up. <laughs> Bad lighting. Mumbling. 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 
Not giving Vince personality, Vince. boring. Let's see here. <laughs> Kiara Lasky, show their forehead instead of face. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Mm, okay. Okay, that. Kiara. Oh, man. Cramming too much information in. Yeah. That's a good one, Dorcas, that, on that Facebook. Is. Audio quality. Yeah, Tammy. Yeah. Bad audio. Mm -hmm. Bad audio is not fun. Not knowing how to work Zoom. Ron L. Appearance. Yeah. L.A. Shields. Yeah. Dragon love not getting to the stuff. Renee, Renee is rapping today. Uh, let's see. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Andrew Counts Richardson. I love the Zoom presentations. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Cool. No, I didn't say about our presentations. We said <laughs> Zoom presentations in general. We no, don't don't be yeah. trying to throw shade on our presentation. Oh, Kathy no. <laughs> says feeling feeling bad emotion. internet connection, not yeah, starting poor. on time. Yep, Edson Richards poor introductions. Letting your pet's camera bomb you. <laughs> what? Vita <laughs> Wood says turning it into a church session. Yeah. Oh, wow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Too much singing, Mike. Yes, I feel like too much singing. Shade. That's I feel you. like you're throwing shade, Mike. I That's feel like you, somehow bro. that is directed to me. All right. <laughs> I don't know if I. Oh, surely Xavier being late. Being late. Being late with excuses. Ooh. They forget it's a presentation and it's like a reunion. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we have. We got a lot down. Oh, my God. <laughs> Maurice Lee Byrne says never too much singing. Never too much thing. That's right. Okay. Thank you so much. Not transitioning to the slides properly, all sorts of stuff. So guess what? We have an incredible training from our rock star social media mavens, Mayasa and Isabel. And this is going to help you guys. So get your notepads out, get your ready on. And we're going to, this is going to be one of our, I bet you this is going to be one of our most watched videos on our YouTube channel. Yeah, potentially. Yep, yeah. yeah, I'm for sure. All right, we ready to go? Yeah, except Donna says she does not have a problem with decent pajamas. Okay. She said that's one of the benefits of working from home. <laughs> oh, All I right. just don't like when people show up to grocery store in pajamas. I've seen that. I've seen that. And slippers. Yeah. In the grocery store. It's just so gross. I wouldn't. Anyway, total right. another topic. Let's this go. video, guys, you're going to totally love it. We'll be back and enjoy. Watch and learn. What's up, Boom Fam? Hello and welcome to this special edition of Flight School. We're coming to you all the way from the iBoom HQ in Houston, Texas. And we're actually in the studio right now because we have a very special episode for you guys. Today, we are not just doing social media, but we are doing something a little more expansive. We are doing a tutorial on how to master the art of Zoom presentations. I'm gonna be Sorry, guys. It's only, it's only a training on how to not mess up your Zooms. Yep, exactly. <laughs> so I said, great topic today, Andy. That is definitely shade, and we deserve it. Yes. Yeah, I was trying to turn up the sound. That was it. Okay, yeah. No, the that's just the sound of the video, the sound level of the video. Yep. Okay. All right, let's try this again. What's up, Boom Fam? Hello, and welcome to this special edition of Flight School. We're coming to you all the way from the iBoom HQ in Houston, Texas. And we're actually in the studio right now because we have a very special episode for you guys. Today, we are not just doing social media, but we are doing something a little more expansive. We are doing a tutorial on how to master the art of Zoom presentations. I'm gonna be giving you a bunch of tips and tricks on how to enhance your Zoom presentations and make them stand out. Why? Because Zoom is one of the main, if not the main tool that will help you grow and promote your business. And this means two things. Where are they, Isabel? 
The first thing is that your first impression is being seen by these prospects and customers via Zoom. So this is the very first time that you or your business is going to be seen by people. And we all know that first impressions matter. It the does. second is that Zoom presentations can make or break your business because the prospects, the customers, this is how you grow your business. If you have a bad Zoom presentation, you're not gonna have a business that's booming. After this training, you will be able to host professional Zoom calls, maximize the impact of your presentations and team meetings, leave an outstanding first impression on your audience, get your message across clearly and professionally. So the first thing we're going to show you is setting up the physical setup of your Zoom calls. And that includes getting your lighting right, your camera angles, and your background setup. And starting off with your lighting, you have three tiers that you can choose from to determine what's the lighting that's going to work best for you. The first one is going to be just your natural lighting setting. So you can go to a window, find a lamp in your house, just whatever lighting you already have in a situation that you don't have to go out and buy anything for and make sure that you're facing your light settings because you never want to have a light shining behind you because that'll just mess up your shadows and you want to make sure that people can see, see you clearly and that's why we're getting your lighting right. The thing about natural lighting is it can be a little bit unpredictable. Oh, if you're guilty of this, raise your hand. Guys, if you have used natural lighting before and it went wrong with you, put guilty or G in the chat. Because this has happened with me, I used to, uh, when I used to do flight school, I would sit in front of a window and on certain days it would be like super sunny, it looked good, and on certain days it was like very cloudy and dark. So I wasn't getting the same amount of light each time I'm doing a Zoom call. And that's why we have the second option which is using a um, light ring in front of you. And what this does is it allows you to get like um, light from the direct light source in front of you. And to set that up, basically you have to um, position the light ring slightly above your eye level and your camera level. That way you get the best amount of um, light and the best position of the shadows. So your shadows will be right under your face and this will slim down your face and make you look good. A lot of people already use ring lights, so if you already own a ring light and are already ahead of the game, leave a light bulb in the comments. But if you don't, and you're trying to take this even a step further, then you can go with our third tier, which we are currently enjoying the privilege of, and that is kind of a studio light setup. So you can go out, you can get the best of the best lighting, and honestly, it's not all that expensive. And you can just set up, and now you have studio quality lighting for your Zoom presentations, and your prospects will be blown away. Voila. The second thing that you need in your Zoom desk setup is your camera. And for that, you only have two options. You can either use your built-in camera, that's you know part of your laptop, or you can get a webcam. But regardless of what you have, um, your camera needs to be positioned in a certain way that is facing you and in such a way that aligns with your eye level. So your, whether you're using a webcam or your built-in camera needs to um, align with your eye level and you shouldn't put your laptop on your lap and look down at the camera because this means that you're looking down at the people or you have it like way up and then you're looking up at the camera which means you're looking up like at the people. So you gotta make sure that it's always straight and balanced and a good hack to use is to have a laptop stand which will elevate your laptop and make it, um, make it closer to your eye level that way you're looking directly at the camera and at the people behind the camera. And webcams also improve the overall quality of your video. So while you do have the built-in camera, getting a webcam kind of takes it to that next step with your video quality. And so webcams with angles also gives you the freedom to move it around. So you can move your webcam around so that it's getting you at your very best angles, even if you don't have a stand. So webcams are kind of the nice tier that you can use to both improve your video quality and your angle ability. The third element that you need in your Zoom desk setup is your background. And for background, you also have two options. You can either use your natural physical background or you can use a virtual background, especially those that we have on iBoomHub. So if you are using your natural physical background, um, that's totally fine. However, you need to make sure that you are eliminating the distractions behind you. Because when you're doing a presentation, people 
would be looking at you and also what's happening in your surroundings, right? So before you start your meeting, make sure that your background doesn't have any distractions. And we actually just got a tip from our videographer. He said that if your background has like um, too much noise, if it's messy, move away from the background. If it's uh, plain, like you're just sitting um, against the wall, you can move um, closer to the wall because it's plain and there's nothing distracting in it. And that is the first option. What's the second option? The second option is to use virtual backgrounds. Now, Zoom has a setting where you can implant a picture and use it as your Zoom virtual background. And we might be a little biased, but we do have some pretty sweet iBoomerang Zoom backgrounds for you available for download at iBoomHub.com. So when you go to iBoomHub, click on the Resources tab, and then go to Downloads. When you go to Downloads, scroll all the way bottom until you find the Boom Zoom virtual backgrounds, and all you have to do is click the Download button, and you'll be taken to a whole bunch of different, different options that you could be using for your Zoom presentations today. An add-on that you can have with your virtual background is to have a green screen, like the one that you see behind me right now. And what this does, it helps make your video more crisp and clear, and you don't see those like empty, tiny spaces of your background on the video. So right now, I have started a Zoom meeting, and I just have my regular virtual background behind me, nothing extra, just the standard background. And then uh, what you can do is you can go to your video options right here. You click on choose virtual background. And then you will check the I have a green screen option. Once you do that and you get back to your video, you will see a huge difference. You don't see any like green areas around my hair. Everything looks crisp. And even when I move my hands, you don't see anything from the background. That's why having a green screen is a great way for you to enhance your Zoom presentations and, your, and the quality of your Zoom videos. The second thing on the agenda today is choosing the right call mode for your presentations. Zoom offers two different kinds of call modes. There are Zoom webinars and there are Zoom meetings, and it's important to know the difference and when you should use them. Hey, I'm meetings. Hello, I'm webinar. When I'm on a call, I allow everyone to participate. When I'm on a call, I allow everyone to chill down and listen. When I'm on a call, I encourage anyone to ask questions at any time. Questions will only be addressed at the end. Make sure to turn on your camera so I can see your smiling faces. No, no, no. Too many faces are too many distractions. My specialties is team meetings and group discussions. My specialty is presentations, events, and important announcements. You can call me interactive sessions. You can call me virtual conference. The third thing on the agenda today is going over a list of the most common mistakes people make before starting a Zoom call. So what's the first one, Isabel? The first thing is dressing the part. You want to dress for success, so make sure that you're looking good before you go on Zoom camera. And remember, it only has to be the top half that looks good. Oh yeah. The second common mistake people make is not optimizing their internet connection. And to optimize your internet connection, you need to check your Wi-Fi before you actually start the call. If you're using VPN, you need to turn off VPN because it can conflict with your connection and give you a very bad service. Um, and the third thing that you can do is you can turn off any nearby devices that use Wi-Fi, but they're not currently in use. So check if you have like multiple phones, turn the Wi-Fi off on these phones. That way you have the maximum amount of Wi-Fi to the device that you're using to stream your Zoom call. Another thing is make sure that your personal presentation needs are ready ahead of time. That includes getting your mu music ready, getting your presentations downloading, and just getting your whole Zoom call set up. You want to make sure you're not scrambling last minute while you're starting the presentation to get all of your materials needed assembled. That's right. And speaking of music, the fourth common mistake people make is using a copyrighted music. So some people just download music off of YouTube and these music um, and these songs belong to other people. And that's why if you're streaming on Facebook, Facebook will actually block this portion of your um, Zoom presentation and it will mute it. So you will have no sound. And that's why you need to look for, um, I think they call it free music 
for um, copyright free music on YouTube. Get those um, sounds downloaded beforehand, like Isabel said, and use those instead of the general and the known uh, music and songs. The last thing is make sure you're staying hydrated and keeping yourself totally prepared throughout your meeting. Getting your water bottle, keeping yourself hydrated is key to just going throughout your meeting and making sure you yourself are having a steady and well-flowing presentation. So you look great, you have all of your things set up and you know exactly where you are on a technological basis. So now it's time to start your meeting. And what's the very first thing you wanna do is not forget about your guests. Make sure you are making your guests co-host as soon as you're starting your Zoom call. And the way to do that is to go to participants. You click on that and then you choose the person who you want to give um, co-host access to. And you're going to click on more and then make co-host. And then make co-host again. And that's it. Um, this person now will be able to share their screen, share their... Um, your camera and start talking. Now that your co-hosts are ready and all your presenters are on the call, it's time to go live on Facebook. This is how you're going to start getting ready to go live on Facebook. And you need to make sure that you go live on Facebook before you start the presentation and before you start sharing your screen. So how you go live on Facebook, you go to the three dots at the bottom. It says more. You click on that. The first option is to go live on Facebook. So you click on that. And then it will take you to this window. Um, it will ask you to give a name for your webinar. So let's call it Flight School and description. We usually use the same name and description, although you can have more stuff. So the description will basically be the caption and the title will show up under your video list on Facebook. So you can use the same name if you want. And then you're gonna go down and you're gonna click on share to your page if you're not sharing on your own timeline. And then you're gonna select the page, in this case, iBoomerang, and then you're gonna click go live. And that's it, you are basically just shared your entire Zoom meeting onto Facebook. Your guests are co-hosts, you are live on Facebook, and now it's time to share your presentation. So sharing your screen is a key part of any Zoom presentation. That's correct, so let me show you how to do it. You go on your Zoom call and you click on this green square that says share screen. You click on that and it will give you several options. What you should not do is choose the first option, which is the default option, desktop one, or I don't know, it would, might just say share your entire screen. Don't do that because it will show everything that you have opened, all of the windows. And you don't want that, that's too distracting, right? So what you wanna do is select only the window that you want to share. And after that, you gotta make sure that you check these two boxes down here. This will optimize your video and it will make the fit correct um, on Zoom and on Facebook. And it will also allow you to share sound in case you are sharing a video or a music clip. So once you select your window, you click on share. And there you go, you are sharing your screen right now. And that concludes our Zoom presentation training. Hopefully you guys know that you now have the tools and ideas you need to master the art of Zoom presentation. Thank you for watching. As always, we love educating you guys and I can't wait to see you guys live next week. That's correct. And we also wanted to make it even easier for you guys. So we put together a full checklist for, uh, for you to prepare before the call and during the call. So we're gonna probably see them now on the screen. Make sure that you screenshot them. And we will also be creating a vertical version of these and we will put them on iBoomHub. That way you can print them out and have them nearby you whenever you're having a Zoom call. Thanks again and we'll see you soon. Nice. Very well done. That was so awesome. <laughs> I am so proud of our social media team. May and Isabel, I know you're out there. You, I'm looking at the wrong place over here. I don't know where my camera is. I need to go watch that training again. So I'll be back, guys. I'm just going to go watch the training. Again. I, I need to watch the training again, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I, 
So it's really funny because I'm watching that training and it's it's an indictment. I'm like, yep, did that, did that today. <laughs> I did that. So so the the sound was so low. I wanted to turn it up and then the sound went out. So yeah. So so I, I, so for yeah. you guys on Facebook, I put in the Zoom chat that the at that point in time, the only appropriate emoji, since we were talking about emojis, was this mm -hmm. one. Yep. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and i agree <laughs> yeah that was i mean but it was really good so i hope you guys got some good stuff out of that um you know this this really just kind of comes out of our lives you know we we got together like mark said the, the four of us and we sat down and we made a list and our list was as long as your guys list and um there's just so many different things that we do to make zooms uh just pop i mean i'm in a hotel right now i've got a ring light i've got this, uh, the whole setup that the ladies talked about yeah. uh, that makes it good i've got the window in front of me and all that kind of cool stuff and at home i use a retractable green screen you guys can go on amazon and you can search for a retractable green screen and i just put it right behind my chair and it makes everything just even that much better so mm -hmm. encourage you guys to use these tips yeah cool good stuff yeah Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah. You ready to get back into it? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> All right. Let me not mess this up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Superstar Power Promo. We are doing this again. We are making it happen. So the top two star achievers and the top two enrollers to qualify for this star achiever for superstar achiever, you've got to qualify superstar achiever four times. And then for the, you've got to have the most, we're going to pick the two with the most frontline star achievers. We're going to pick the two superstar achievers with the most frontline star achievers. If you're an enroller, if you're a top enroller, you just have to sponsor people and recruit people and get people on your team. So those will be the folks that will uh, recognize. So how do we recognize you? You're going to be featured on Top Gun Spotlight with this guy. You're going to be featured on the iBoom Hub blog. And you're going to be featured in Business for Home. Yes. Typically, typically, what we do is we reserve, we, we reserve that for the diamonds. I got to slow down. Uh, and that is uh and and you know we're posting more and more and more on business for home and that is the place where people go to find a network marketing home you know i remember the time when abdi goma mm -hmm. our diamond he went and looked on business for home mm -hmm. for a home and he found i boomerang look at that so, yep good stuff Right on. Awesome. 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 Guess what, folks? Travel and trade gets you paid. That is the promo that is running right now from Accelerate Action March 13 to the end of April. Now, this promo is absolutely fire, right? Fire emoji. Uh, because the, the, the what you can win are some really amazing trips okay we've got six travel and trade victory packs that you can win uh, we've got five travel victory packs where you're going to get a vacation package some of those packages are cruises some of those packages are resort stays um the cruises are are they five day cruises four day four day cruises Yep. And the resort stays are seven days. Yes. And the grand prize is the travel and trade victory pack, where not only do you get one of those vacation packages, but you also get that super cool training laptop that we uh, that we had in the promo from when we launched Elevate. OK, now, how do you win? Well, first of all, before Mark tells you how you win, I'm going to tell you how you can participate. Rule number one, you got to be an iBoomerang. Rule number two, you need to have an Elevate subscription because it's travel and trade, okay? So those of you who may be a little intimidated by trading, we want you to experience 
the goodness of, of trading. We want you to learn a new thing that can really help you. So get an Elevate subscription. Now, Mark is going to tell you how you win. All right, here's how you qualify. Get two new ambassadors and five new customers. That's where you start. And then when you do that, you're in. Then every new ambassador that you sponsor and every new customer you bring on, you get one additional entry. The person who sponsors the most and recruits the most customers is the one that's going to win the grand prize. Everybody else is in the, in the uh, random drawing, okay? Now, hey, T. Greg, what if I get one new ambassador? So I've qualified. I'm right. in. Right. And I get, I get two new ambassadors and one more customer. How many entries do I get? You get three more entries. There we go. That's there it. There you go. Oh yeah, we gotta do math today. Oh my god. <laughs> you, you, you did it. You got it. <laughs> uh, three. 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 <laughs> all right. So so all right, folks. Uh, uh this is this is not <laughs> right. So so there we go. That's the contest. Travel and trade gets you paid, and you gotta have an elevate subscription to get started all I right can, hey so are, are we gonna we were, we're gonna do a video we're gonna show you guys a video next week we got to show them a video what? of these trips okay. remember we, we talked about that and so you guys can see these are not some little janky trips yeah it's just yeah. like some good stuff here yeah like i think we're gonna have to have a uh, a social media requirement of who the people who win the trips Yes, absolutely. Lots of pics and videos yeah. and all that kind of stuff yeah. because these are, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're fantastic. Yeah, you know, I couldn't believe that they gave us these. <laughs> I, I was going to, we were going to hold back too and just say there were only five trips. Yeah, we only asked for three and they gave us six. And yeah, we gave us six, yeah. Yeah. Yep. All we right. We'll show you guys four. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Remember that? You don't no. remember Welcome yeah, Back? I Carter? do. I remember Welcome Back, Cotter. Yeah. Who remembers that show? All right. Let's, hey, who, where are all the old people at? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. If you're in your 20s, you're like, Welcome Back, Carter. Like, what is that? <laughs> oh, welcome Back, Cotter. Mr. Carter. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, this is uh, our welcome back promo. Yeah. And this is the last time that we will do a welcome back promo like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so what's unique, special about this one? Um, we started this company back in March. March. Of 2019. 2019. Yep. 2019. Right. And what we did is we allowed you guys to take the startup ride with us. And while we certainly have had a lot of fun together, there's been some bumps and bruises along the way. And as we hit some of those bumps, some people fell out of the vehicle. They fell off the train. They fell out of the ride. Uh, they didn't have their seatbelt on. And, and now that we have everything working the way that it should and we're pop, uh, everything is rocking, we got new diamonds popping. We are, got everybody focused on travel and trade because it gets you paid. Now is the time to go and back down the road where we just came from and maybe help some of those people get back on, right? So here's the deal though. Uh, when they come back, they'll actually return in their, their current position instead of having to sign up again and pay again and buy another pack and go to the bottom, they'll actually be able to reactivate or turn on their existing position. Um, they have to, uh, go, they have to add either IGO and or elevate subscription. If they don't, they're going to go right back where they came from. We're going to go find that spot on the road where they fell off and put them back there. Um, and they have to have been in good standing at the time of going inactive, which means that they can't have gone inactive because we terminated them because they had bad behavior of one kind or another. So if you got some good people who are excited about who were excited about I boomerang, but just couldn't handle the bumps and bruises. Let's go get them back. Give them a chance to get back in the family. We're going to shut this off on April 30. That's it. 
Yeah. That's it. We're going to shut it down then. And then after that, the rule will apply. If you're out for six months, you got to sign up all over again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so how far back can we go? Like if you joined in March of 2019 and you quit on July 2019, can they come back? Yes, we will let them back. <laughs> no, I'm teasing. Yeah, we'll let them back. Not a problem. We'll let them back in. Uh, I mean, and there's all sorts of reasons. There's all sorts of reasons. I love you, Donna, for what you're putting here in the uh, in the in the chat here. She says she fell out not because of I boomerang, but because of me, because of herself. And she says, thank God, her amazing sponsors, Sandy and Ed Cohen, never stopped believing in them. And and Donna, that's exactly why we're doing this for, yeah. for folks like you who just you know who would who would really value that second chance. So uh, we're gonna do this till April thirty. We're so glad that you are, um, that you're back with us. And we invite our other former ambassadors to come back and get back in the family uh, because the party is really starting now. Nice. And that was loud. Say again? That was loud. <laughs> Whatever that was. Uh, I don't know. Does that, did that come from my device? I have no idea, <laughs> but that was super loud. It was a really loud bling. <laughs> yeah. Loud. All no right. Fun. Cool. Hey, yeah. And Donna, thank you. Thank you. For you Donna. Back. Welcome back, Donna. Uh, yeah, it's awesome. Yes. That's exactly what this was designed to do. Yes. Yeah. All right. Good stuff. The Accelerate Action Replay is now available. Access the same. So use the same link that we sent you. Okay. And then use the same email address that you signed up with and that right. you bought your ticket with. Okay. So if you don't do that, you're not going to have access and don't send support an email. Hey, Donna, uh, reach out, send an email to marketing at iBoomerang.com. Okay, Donna, marketing at iBoomerang.com. Uh, in the subject, put Excel, Accelerate Action and in the body say, T. Gray said he's going to give me access to the replay. Um, and then that way you'll be able to see, watch the replay of the event that we just had. Awesome. Good stuff. Hey, Builders Bootcamp 300. So I'm going to play a video. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to play a video. Get it right. Get it right. <laughs> I, I don't know, bro. I, I'm getting everything set up here. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I know, man. You can do it. I've gotten much more out of this event than what I paid for. The speed of my team is about to explode. I got my money's worth in the first two minutes of this boot camp. You believe that you're worthy of investing in yourself. When you choose your mentor, you choose your future. When you choose your mentor, you choose what? You gotta strive for some kind of sphere of excellence in your life. Be excellent at something. I don't care if it's one thing. Become excellent at it. I always get fired up watching that video. So exciting. And I really hope that that makes you want to be a part of the next boot camp, which will be our second boot camp in I Boomerang history. And uh, it will be in Cancun. Hmm. Yeah, now, yeah. the other big question is the when, right? We got the where, but the when. The when is still uh, up in the air, folks. We apologize for this, but here's. I'll give you the story. <laughs> Tim, <Rambert. laughs> good job, MK. You did a great job. <laughs> that was so good. Yeah, it was when you did you did well. You were a good video DJ this time. So so the story is that you guys know with the pandemic, lots of companies had to cancel, reschedule, push their events. And now that things are loosening up, everybody is actually hosting their events. And so we're actually having a difficult time locking down our desired venues in Cancun for the dates that we want. 
Um, I talked to our event planning team. Uh, we have proposals back from several venues in Cancun uh, for different dates. We are waiting to uh, choose one of those dates uh, from our CEO team as our founder team. Um, and once we have a locked in date, we will announce that to you. We wanted to do that today, but uh, we couldn't get to you. Um, we couldn't get it locked in uh, in time. So you may get a midweek announcement. We uh, uh, Hopefully we can get, uh, do that so that you don't have to wait till next week's flight school to find out. Yeah. Hey, Vita Wood Wooten says, whenever I'll be there. And then fire your boss says, ditto at Vita. Yep, yep. Um, so uh, let's see, I wanted to go back to the travel and trade gets you paid because one of the questions is what customers actually count? And it's a great question. And here's the answer. I want everybody to know the answer and we will update the, the promo slide for the next time you see it. Transacting customers count. Okay. Transacting customers count. So what does that mean? Elevate customers right? Because they're actually doing a transaction at the time of signing up. Um, people who, uh, new customers who buy Zen Smoots uh, or, or who buy skin tech from you, those customers count. We cannot do this with the travel customers because frankly, they, we don't know when they will transact. Okay. So uh, in the future, we might be able to do that because we're working with our travel partner to integrate their booking system uh, into our platform so that when your customers book travel, you it, mm -hmm. it actually happens like an order or purchase in our system. And when that happens, then we'll be able to include stuff like that in our uh, yeah. in our promos, but we can't, we cannot include travel customers in this particular. Okay. Tim Lambert says, what about Bill Genius customers? Uh, transacting customers, again. Okay. Right. So yeah. then, then and if they've transacted with Bill Genius, then yes. Well, they don't transact at the time that they sign up. They don't make a payment. Well, right. But if they do enter their information in, do they count? No, they can't because we don't know. We don't know what will happen. So if they enter their information in, let's suppose Bill Genius can't save them anything on their bill. They're not going to be a transacted customer. Okay. Or if they, you know, it, it could be it could be a while. It could be 30 to 60 days before they actually transact. Okay. So we're going to have to keep it to the transacting customers. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So um, what we're going to do, folks, is we will send out information about how to access the replay. Mm -hmm. So again, it's the URL that we had sent out um, and you use your same email. So we'll send that URL out and... Uh, and let you guys see that. Yep. All right. Good All start. Right. There you go. Back to the slides. All right. Back to slides. All right. So boot camp. Now, who went to the last boot camp? Who went to the last boot camp? And how oh, awesome was it? I did. <laughs> it was phenomenal. So, how incredible was that boot camp? It was Mr. Bugs all day long, and, they, and, and he was answering questions. So if you were at Accelerate, he asked some questions, right? And that is the flavor of what that boot camp is all about. Mm -hmm. That's what it's about. So he was asking questions. And I remember that guy, the first guy that asked the question mm -hmm. was a guy that was at the boot camp. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. So that boot camp was absolutely on fire. Mr. Bugs laid down and went back to, laid down the, laid down the gauntlet and went back to uh, his, his roots and the basics. He sure right? did. So can't miss this. Yes. All right iBoomerangEvents.com, iBoomerangEvents.com to get your tickets. Good stuff. Hey. I, and I just want to answer one other question. Someone asked, what, if, what about the ambassadors who purchase products and then sell them to customers? Does that count? Can't. There's, we don't have any way of tracking that. We yeah. can't, I can't pull a report from the back office that shows the, the products that have someone sold to their customers. So yeah. 
We, it's got to be customers that use our platform because then what that does is it allows us to uh, pull reports and see who did what. Awesome. Okay, Darina Sloan says, I did. It was breathtaking, eye-opening, and empowering. Man, Larita Phelps says, it was my first iBoom Live event and I took full advantage of it by participating every chance I got. Yeah, that's All awesome. Right. All right. All right, folks, that's it. We're, we're done. We're done? Yeah. We were having so much fun and that's it already? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Awesome. And and you're you're lighting up, bro. What am I doing? Everybody's lighting you up. What are you doing? Sending you messages. Yeah. Well, you know what? It's not me. Oh yeah, it is me. <laughs> it is you. We know we need to put on the on the training failure to turn off notifications. Right. How about that? Like like here I am putting on do not disturb at the end of the training. <laughs> Perfect timing, T Gray. <laughs> Oh man, we're breaking these things. We're breaking all the rules. We certainly are. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a stern talking to you from Isabel in May. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Zoom etiquette. Zoom. All right. Wait, didn't we teach you anything? <laughs> all right. Hey, bro. Good to have you on today, man. Good to share the screen with you. Yes. Good share time and good to share the screen and share the Zoom with so many of our friends from all over the world. We love you guys. Absolutely. And um, we'll see you soon. Have a great weekend, folks. Gotta stay on my grind and try to leave me behind and